Get excited. Chelsea fans, get excited. Leipzig fans, start crying because Garvado basically confirms his move to Chelsea. Yeah, he had an interview with The Athletic where he is very open and honest. And let's just say Agent Mateo was on the job and we've got all the quotes from that. Then you start looking at the World Cup and start what's been happening there. Hakim Ziyech gets a goal and leads Morocco to top the group. Undefeated Morocco top the group. Christian Pulisic update on his injury. Is he going to make the game against Holland? And finally, Romelu Lukaku has a 45 minute half that I don't think I've ever seen any player have worse. He is going to be haunted by that 45 minutes. He's having nightmares today. He punched a, uh, a wall and I think he's going to be getting a bill for that. Let's get into this video. Welcome to the Kaf guys. You, you guys already know who it is. It's your favorite YouTube dietitian. I got all the supplements you need in one dose. So you come here, you get all your news regarding your club, or even if you guys aren't your fans, you guys are here. Thank you very much. We really appreciate you guys. Always welcome. Plenty of seats in the back. All I need from you guys now is a subscription to the channel because you enjoy the content. You will. Number two, hit the like button. We're aiming for 500 likes on this video. Make sure you hit that like button now because you will forget so please it goes a long way it's the easiest way you can help me and finally in the pinned comment is my linked channel and in the links you can literally pick whether you want to follow me on instagram twitter tiktok i deliver content all over the gaff so if you enjoy this go and enjoy yourselves on the other plane dm me on instagram and i nine out of ten times respond and we have a nice debate so now we need to talk about these video because there's a lot of big news here today garvidal and Chelsea. Chelsea have been chasing him all summer. Chelsea wanted to secure the deal. Chelsea wanted to sign the player last summer. Uh, there were rumours that it was meant to be Koulibaly, Fafana and Garvidal coming in. A lot of Chelsea fans had a big problem with it. The problem was Levi Colwell. We need to have Levi Colwell get given an opportunity. He's just as good. Well, at this World Cup, Garvidal's really, really standing out. I don't know if he's better than Levi Colwell at this moment in time because of opportunity. But I know one thing for certain. This guy is a baller and he looks looks like he's the real deal. Not only has he been the, at the heart of this defense for the one and only Croatia, he has been a leader at the age of 20, he's very vocal, and he is illustrating what can happen when you have an elite level talent on your hands with Modric, Kovacic, and Brozovic. It happens and it looks amazing, right? But why are we doing talking about him today? Well, he basically confirmed his move to Chelsea, that it is on the cards and it is very, very serious. Look, I've been reporting on regular times that Chelsea are interested in him. Chelsea are willing to put a bid in. Chelsea are talking to an actor. And now it's coming out the horse's mouth. He said, it's for my agent to discuss and he's in the process of doing so. I'm happy at Leipzig. He threw that in. We need to be objective. He said, but one day I could play for you. This is a big club. You don't say stuff like that unless you know the deal's starting to happen. And then he added, I've been talking to Kovacic. I've been talking to Kovacic. And this is key. Players like Kovacic are heirs to the throne for Gavidal. He looks at him and goes, you know what? You're one of the best players for this country. I want to be like you. You come from a country of 4 million people. And guess what? I want to grow up and I, you are my idol. Luca, Matteo, idols. You start looking at Mandzukic, you start looking at Perisic. For these young Croatians coming through, they look at this crop and they go, you know what, you're inspiring us to be better. So when they tell you, you know what, come to Chelsea, come play with me, it's a pulling power, man. And Chelsea are actively going to try sign the centre-back. He has been amazing this World Cup. And I really, really want to see what Croatia do in the next game. Because at this moment in time, as it stands, they're going to be playing Spain. And whether they're going to beat Spain or not, it's been a very good World Cup. For a country of 4,000 people, this has been amazing. But when there's happiness, 9 out of 10 times, there's tears for someone else. At one man's pleasure is another man's pain. And in this case, Romelu Lukaku, Chelsea player on loan had an absolute stinker. Romelu Lukaku came on with 45 minutes to go and arguably in my opinion cost Belgium a spot in the last 16 because Romelu Lukaku had four clear-cut opportunities. Three of them, a lot of you would have bet your house down that he would have scored, right? Because when you think about it, the first one was a guilt edge chance where it literally dropped to him. He has to score. He doesn't. He hits the post. Then the header comes to him. He headers it over the bar where 
there was no like reason for him to put so much power. The ball was just landing on his head. There was a tap in that hit him and then go in and then a deflection shot. Literally, he was on his knees at the end of the game. He could not believe it. There were tears coming out of his eyes. Out of anger, he punched the advertisement board on the bench. He broke it. And people were going crazy, like, because what happened to Romelu Lukaku today is something that I haven't seen in a while. Those misses were humiliating. Those misses were historical. Those misses are going to be lived in folklore because in 45 minutes, I believe he generated enough chances to not only get Belgium through, but to become the top goal scorer in this World Cup. Those four chances he could have finished. A player that compared himself to Lewandowski, Benzema and Harry Kane should be finishing those opportunities. And I'm telling you now, I don't want Romelu Lukaku back at Chelsea, but I've got a bad feeling he's going to be back because Inter Milan will not want to keep him. And that's my personal opinion. I don't know about yours, but you lot need to let me know, right? Is Romelu Lukaku good enough to come back to Chelsea? Because evidently, we are in dire need of a striker. Are we going to go and sign a new one? I don't know. I need to get your views on this. And finally, we're going to have a nice little roundup of the big news around Christian Pulisic's injury and Hakim Ziyech's excellent achievement today. Well, Pulisic pulled, uh, he had a clash. And remember, I spoke about it at the end of my last video. And I said, look, he's injured. We don't know whether he's going to make it or not. Christian Pulisic guides America to the last 16. And, not, and in doing so, he hurt himself. He had a good collision with the keeper to the point where he had to go to a hospital. And he put up a video in the hospital basically saying, guys, I'm making this final. He's in pain. We saw him standing later that night because they, with Instagram, you get to see that he literally was over the moon when the players came back to the hotel room. They were celebrating. This is a big achievement for them. So Christian Pulisic is going to do whatever it takes, he told Weston McKee, to make it for that game. Whether that's going to be good enough, we don't know. Whether he's going to get cleared, we don't know. But the likelihood is the US need a fit Christian Pulisic to get far to get further ahead. And if they don't use him, they got Brendan Aronson and they got Gio Reyna, so maybe one of them can actually make an impact and Pulisic most probably will have to miss it. I don't think Greg Boerhalter wants that to happen, but I don't think Christian Pulisic wants that to happen. So I think he's gonna do whatever it takes to get fit. And you start looking at Hakim Ziyech. Hakim Ziyech guides Morocco to seven points in that group. When the group came out, a lot of people said, you know what? Morocco's not all that. Canada are going to come up, run us up in that group. Going to upset Croatia. Well, that's not true. Canada finished rock bottom. Uh, Canada finished with three L's. Canada held those L's. Yes, Canada is a nation that's really developing their football. And I think people need to calm down in the future of forecasting teams to do well, purely based on the fact that they've got outstanding one or two players. Like, people rate David, I don't, but Davis is a good player. Uh, Alfonso Davis is a good player, so we have to give him plaudit and we have to give him credit. But next time for Canada, the World Cup coming up at their home ground is going to be the big one for them. That's where they're going to try to actively become better. Hopefully in the next four years, they generate new players. But we need to talk about Morocco because Morocco's style of play has been wonderful. They've been defensively solid. They've been imaginative attack. Um, North African players just have this swag, like the way they move the ball, the way they try things that haven't been coached out of them. And I love it. Like they'll try a nutmeg, they'll try a flip flap. And it's something that you want to watch. Like, especially their wingers are amazing. Like if you look at the way Hakim Ziyech plays, sometimes I think Hakim Ziyech is too relaxed. He tries too many things. But it's so entertaining to watch. Whether I think he's going to make it at Chelsea or not, I have my doubts. But I am very keen to see him move away somewhere and spend the rest of his good years of his prime playing. Because he's too good to sit on the bench, guys. That's my personal opinion. I want to hear your thoughts, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts because it's been an event for two days when it comes to football. And there's so much to do. And at the end of tomorrow, I most probably will release a video talking about what I think is going to be for us to keep an eye on and who the big teams are and how Chelsea are impacted for the remainder of the World Cup. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out. Hasta luego, peeps.